And thanks for joining us tonight. You know, really, this is the moment that we've been waiting for for months now, really ever since the pandemic started. The news today, an FDA panel recommends the Pfizer vaccine for emergency use. This is our back top story tonight, and we have a look now at after that approval, what happens now? The full FDA must vote to authorize emergency use for people who are 16 and older. That vote could come as soon as tomorrow. Then on Sunday, a CDC advisory committee will vote whether to recommend the vaccine. Once authorized, Pfizer will ship the vaccine from its deep freezer farms in Michigan and Wisconsin. Those UPS and FedEx trucks will likely get police escorts as they take the vaccine to their hubs in Louisville and Memphis. They'll then load them onto cargo planes, which will take them across the country. FedEx will take the western states and UPS will take the eastern states. If everything goes as planned, Indiana is expected to get 55,700 doses of the vaccine next week. There are five hospitals, including IU Health Methodist, that will get those initial shipments. IU Health is turning this conference area into a vaccination clinic capable of vaccinating about 24 healthcare workers every hour, 12 hours a day. First in line are workers in long-term care facilities. Next in line are hospital workers, nurses, receptionists, custodians, anyone who has direct contact with patients. 975 doses of the COVID vaccine are expected to arrive Tuesday. If they arrive as expected, vaccinations will begin Wednesday. When the COVID-19 vaccine arrives, nursing home residents will be first in line, right alongside healthcare workers. That's because residents at long-term care facilities are in the most vulnerable population and perhaps among the most eager for pandemic relief. More than half of Indiana's COVID-19 deaths are residents in long-term care facilities. CVS will administer on-site vaccine clinics at facilities like Genesis Decatur Township Center, which has already requested and hopes to receive vaccines for 55 residents and 75 staff before the end of the year. You know, our frontline healthcare workers have been so brave throughout the pandemic and tonight expressing even more bravery as they share their video diaries with us. This is a side we don't often get to see. For the past nine months, they've confronted COVID every day. It's about 3.30 in the morning and this is my fourth shift in a row. But the last few weeks have been especially challenging. I just finished my day today and unfortunately, again, the majority of my patients are afflicted by COVID. Frontline workers at IU sharing their experience and fatigue battling this virus. Today I am taking care of approximately 12 patients. Um, 11 of them are needing some type of respiratory support. We have witnessed a lot. We have seen a lot of death. Um, we have seen a lot of suffering. It's a very helpless feeling. You put the patient on the, the best medications you have and you really just have to, to hope at that point. But as a frontline healthcare worker, I can understand and I can describe the sound the zipper on a body bag makes. I know the feeling of my hand on a chest and the feeling of two minutes of CPR before the next pulse check. I can describe with great detail the odd and very ugly color of purplish gray you turn when your body is suffocating. We're tired. <sighs> but we get up and we still do this every day. We are spreading ourselves very thin. I'm begging you to be mindful of what you're doing to help us curb this. The bright spot, of course, is that help is on the way. I can't definitively speak for everyone here, um, but my guess would be that we all have our fingers crossed that things look really good and this vaccination process starts. Personally, I cannot roll up my sleeve fast enough to get this vaccination, and I guess I would urge the community, when it's that time, to do the same. Um, you may save at least one life, if not more.